What's up everyone? This is the Big Jew. Welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest 3. Three player run. Well in the last episode I leveled up a little bit, got some upgrades, just a little just a few upgrades here, not a lot. But we should be doing fine because check out Nintendo's speed. <laughs> wow, yeah. And uh defense power is calculated the same as the NES versions where uh, half your agility equals your def your base defense power. So, Nintendo's gonna actually be pretty good. He's in decent shape, actually. I mean, look at that. Like, look at his defense power compared to Big Ju and Lucas. I mean, pfft. so whatever, you know. I'm not too worried about that. Um, so, yeah, let's check out Alien at uh, night here. I got the guy from the uh, saloon. Uh, just a few days ago, but sure. Right? Yeah. Uh huh. R whatever, man. You just keep getting wasted. I'll do what sober people do. And raid houses! And get another small metal. Yay. Cool. Nothing. Is there. Long. Well, I got a raid your house for small metals. That's what business I have. Oh, yeah, she might be. You're right. Okay. Well, what if you wake up in the middle of the night? Whatever. Don't think he has to answer that. Anyway. That's right, we got the sleeping drunk guy. Got an inn. I don't know why they have an inn here if you just go to your parents' place and uh, sleep. There she is, by the way. Just want to check everything out here first before we do anything. Right? Ouch. That can't be good. Uh. I guess. <laughs> okay, whatever, buddy. You know, sleeping priest. Oh, that's the guy who tried to make the magic ball. How you hurt yourself making a magic ball? Eh, we'll find out eventually, I guess. Anyway. So yeah, if it's night time, we can talk to your mother, and uh, she'll force you to go to sleep, I think. Oh no, that's in the NES one. In this one, it's like, you know, it's whatever. Sure. There you go. Alright, nice. I like it. Cool. Alright, let's go. Now, let's see, what do I want to do before the next area. Oh, let me, uh, let me, uh, hand in my small metals there. To hand in small metals, you just go down the well. I think I showed this off earlier, but if I didn't, I'm showing it to you now. Go inside here. What's up, man? We got two for you. There you go. Good stuff. Awesome. And we get a spiny whip after five medals. It's not like Dragon Quest IV where you can uh, pick and choose what stuff you want. No, in this, in this one they just give you what they have if you have enough small medals. So, and that kind of takes the uh, replay value out of the game. But pff, I mean, whatever. <laughs> it, don't worry about that, right? What I want to do now is I have 76 gold right here. I want to get a shield for Lucas, but I also want to get items for the tower. I don't want to grind more than I need to. Yeah, the pot lid shield, everyone can equip it. It increases your defense power by two. Eventually, I'll probably get one for Ninten, but for now, I'm not going to get anything. Uh, I want ten medical herbs before going to the next area. And probably four antidote herbs because we can get poisoned. So, and let's see. But I don't want to level too much in this. But it looks like I'm going to have to. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get a leather shield for Lucas. Then I'm going to get the ten medical herbs. It's going to be 80. And then four antidote herbs is going to be... Hundred and some change, right? Hundred and twenty dollars, something like that. 
yeah so I'm gonna do all that uh, off screen just a little bit more off screen grinding yeah no Nintendo's already at level 5 but whatever thieves level up very quickly by the way I think they're I think they're only they're the second uh, fastest levelers next to uh, dealers if I'm not mistaken or even jesters I don't really remember but whatever Anyway, I'm going to do all that grinding, and I will see you when I've done all that money farming and whatever. Okay, we're back, and uh, yeah, uh, that didn't take too long at all, actually. It took about ten minutes of grinding. Uh, we're in pretty good shape now. Just got to pick up a shield for, uh, for what, uh, Lucas? And we'll be good to go. And get some more medical orbs and stuff. Uh, yeah. Everyone gained one level from that, by the way, which I really didn't like, but whatever. Big deal. I mean, I don't really want to be too strong in this game. Even though it is pretty un it's pretty unavoidable, because the less players you have in your party, the uh, more XP you get. So, yeah. That's pretty much the way it goes. I already have... Uh, one medical orb in the bag, and Nintendo already has one, so I'll get eight of those. That's not how you spell medical orbs. It's not where you put the apostrophe. You don't put an apostrophe in it. If you're pro if you're pluralizing, if you're pluralizing, Jesus Christ! Let me just turn up just a little bit. There we go. And let's get four medical herbs or antidote herbs, rather. Four antidote herbs. There you go. That, that's great. Excellent. Awesome game. All right, let's go rest at mom's place. Rest at the rent house. Yes, yes. I'm very exhausted. I just grinded for ten minutes. Yeah. There we go. Against the easiest enemies in the world. But you're gonna get much easier actually because well, now we're pretty much over leveled for this next area. I mean, Jesus, like, Nintendo already, he's, he's already at level 6. It's pretty crazy. There we go. Just with slimes and ravens. Now you can go, there's a, there's a place right next to Reeve that you can go to. Okay, if I could stop getting attacked, that'd be great. That'd be wonderful. There's a place right south of, uh, Reeve that you can go to. Uh, but I don't want to really go there right now. We'll just go to this little place right here, this little cave on the promontory there. It's a pretty simple cave. I like how the music is a lot deeper and kind of scarier. That was just some ravens. There are new enemies here, but uh, we'll find them later on. As we get Traveler's Clothes, which I'm going to put right in the bag. Anything that you're not equipping, I would just I would suggest putting it in the bag. By the way, this game does have uh, auto-targeting, so if you kill an enemy and someone else attacks it, it'll move on to the next enemy, so you don't have to worry about it. And 56 gold, awesome. And we got new enemy, <clears throat> new enemies, horny hares. Let's just hope they don't have sex like jackrabbits. Uh, they're just a little bit stronger than ravens, but whatever. Anyway. Horny hair, really game? Really, that, that 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 that's wonderful. That's just that's just wonderful. Just saying, just saying. I think we went the wrong way. Is it this way? Yeah, it is. Those are the only two treasures you can get there. Let's see. I like how you I like how you walk really fast. If you go up, you'll get to the uh, Reeve exit. If you go to the right. Well, we won't be able to go anywhere because the it's locked. But we'll be able to get the key eventually, and it leads back to Alehan. So here's the Tower of Najimi, or whatever it is. We got no enemies here. Trick moths. Oh boy, these guys can cast surround, and that murders your accuracy. I think it it takes it down from like 90 to like 40. It's disgusting. So I would just take them out really quickly first. Um, if you have Blaze, if you have a lot of uh, 
attack spells. If your players have good attack magic, then I would suggest using it, but whatever. We got more new enemies, Frog Wars. These enemies are a little bit stronger than uh, the enemies you've been fighting up until this point. They only have, they have about 16 hit points, so there you go. And in 10, get another medical herb, very good. Uh, let's see, I want to go this way. We can get some more treasure around here, but uh, I'm just going to go straight for the goal. And fight some more new enemies, anteaters. These guys are just, I don't know, they're just a little bit more powerful than the uh, ravens and horny hairs and stuff. They're about as powerful as the frog oars. They have, uh, what, 14 hit points, something like that? So, whatever. Not that hard to kill, let me tell you. There you go, good. Take out the frog or I like it. <laughs> I really like the enemy animations in this game. It's pretty awesome. I really should have done this one first instead of the NES Dragon Warrior 3. I don't know, man, but whatever. Eh. Alright, we got another level. Jesus, man, I am really over leveled right here. <laughs> but whatever, it's just, it goes with the territory. We only have three players, so. It's, it's the way it goes. Okay, I think we can get some stuff over here, if I'm not mistaken. I was gonna not get any treasure, but whatever, I mean. It's not, it's not, I mean, these enemies are nothing we can't handle, so. Whatever. Alright, we get a wing of wyvern. That'll uh, teleport us to anywhere we've uh, recently uh, visited. Good thing that... Okay, I've had enough of this. Time to just go for the goal. Wow. Now Nintendo's at level 7. Ha! Wait a minute. This door is locked. What the hell, man? Well, can we get through that door and see what's on the other side? Find out next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest 3, 3 Player Run. This is the Big Jew telling you to keep being awesome. Peace.